My presentation is to share um, a, one innovative skill-based approach to teach the topic of big data analytics in not traditional, let's say, setting of university and not traditional data science oriented program. This is regarding uh, the effort of the information technology system department from the University of Maryland University College and uh, in the master degree program we have several master degree program and we try to identify the common skill in this program beside the formal program we have in data analytics. So in the presentation, I will try to uh, follow uh, the presented outline and the new term we are using for assignment, but starting with the student profile, which is very, uh, let's say, unique in the University of Maryland University College, uh, we are talking about uh, master candidates which already are in the professional file. They are working, they have job, and they want to advance in their career, and they want to advance in a subject which will give them big opportunity uh, of job. So these are working adult and military student. Most of the courses are in online uh, environment. We are actually the the beginner in this field in we started online education uh, as expanding uh, distance education in 1996 and we continue in this field we are not talking about massive uh, we are not talking about MOOC we are talking about just um, distance education in online environment we have been doing this for almost 20 years so these are the specific and other specific, which is very challenging, by status, we are open admission university, and we keep very close eyes in the quality of what we, um, of our graduate, because the open admission doesn't mean they will just continue. So having said that, uh, we are talking about two, uh, two uh, different uh, direction in, in the realm of this conference. We're talking about new approach for all the program which the graduate school uh, follow, uh, which we name it a skill-based curriculum uh, development, and it applies to all the program in the graduate school. And specifically, we started this following the employer, um, uh, the marketing research of all the employer in the big Washington area and nationally. And we see that employer in any area, not just data scientists, data analysts, uh, data engineer, they are looking for graduate who can do stuff. It's not just the, and mostly immediately. But in addition, this is the first part. They are, there seems like two contradicting parts. The second part is they are looking for someone who is relevant today but it can be relevant to the company tomorrow. It's not just to solve the problem today with some skill on hand. So these are the main starting point in the, in the table for uh, redeveloping our program in the graduate school. And the, the, the other important component in the table is that, that this gap between industry and academia we've been talking all over in the last year and blaming the university that we are behind, behind because we are in the traditional approach to teach and we don't adapt fast enough, fast enough to the dynamically changing um, uh, environment in which our graduates are going to perform as professional. Having said that and having all this, uh, and taking input for different um, sources. Our, uh, let's say, conclusive um, lemma for the redevelopment is to uh, design a program which are, of course, relevant for the industry and with what, uh, and it has to be in line with what emerged from the industry, these two components. 
when we did all this research uh, from different sources for the developing of our program in the ITS department, here we are talking about different program which are part of the author of uh, this presentation. We're talking about program in uh, emergency management, information technology, bioinformatic, healthcare informatic, cybersecurity, all this broad specter of program, which is just a part of our, uh, let's say, preparing data scientists, data analytic program. I'm not going to talk about that program right now. I'm going to talk about our effort about the skills in, the, in big data and analytic in all this uh, program I mentioned. And when we did the research about the, what we should do in this program, one thing very interesting which pop up and everyone is pointing are the soft skills. Since these are so important for all the employer, the ability of, uh, to technically communicate and um, to be able to communicate in team, to have quantitative reasoning and critical skills, our curriculum evolved to just design a course, common course for all graduate school, which is the first course for all the students, uh, to all the students to take before moving to any specialization, because this is common to all graduate school. So all these critical skills, soft skills, are in this first course. Then we, uh, each of the different direction of the different uh, program uh, revised existing program. We are talking about revising existing program with uh, the um, with the involvement of the environment in big data and analytics. So in the program which is oriented to technology, which is data system technology, this traditionally was, let's say years ago, very database uh, program. We reshaped totally the program with including uh, the topic of interest in big data, like different databases, not just um, relational, distributed databases. And uh, although some of these topics were there, and although big data technology Hadoop is just what is right now as an example, we have this included in, uh, in the topic of one of the course, not as a technology, but as a prospective and student do project, whatever comes with the technology. In order, the traditional information technology program, uh, we oriented uh, part of the curricula in this program uh, let's say totally reshape it. This is very in line with what uh, Peter was uh, showing about reshaping information technology program, including, uh, let's say, different perspective in business analytic and in emerging technology, because the graduate from this information technology must have broad, uh, broad view of all emerging technology and being capable to select the most appropriate for the organization and from the organization on it. Other example which I bring today is another program for which is very relevant, the, the skills in big data and analytics, which is emergency management. In this program, students must have this analytical skill, and even though they are not information technology uh, graduate, they must have uh, the skills to select the tools to, uh, to explore big data, uh, big databases in which they find the information in order to, uh, to, elab uh, in order to uh, build a plan, emergency, uh, and emergency and risk mitigation programs. So with all this, we introduce a new concept which, uh, well, you see here, learning demonstration. We start with this new perspective. We are trying not only to reshape the topic, which will be included in the program, but also the way we are going to teach this. And we focus very, uh, um, our first focus is to do, uh, beside the traditional lecture and, and learning, 
After that, student is evaluated how he can apply everything he studied in this course. And any course culminate with something we, do, we don't name a project or exam. We include everything traditionally we have been using in the university. In naming this just learning demonstration, maybe next year we will be naming differently, in which the main idea is after you study the material the instructor is teaching you, you are capable to apply this for something which is relevant to the industry and which is going to give you hand out experience. Even part of your job as a student for this learning demonstration will be to select the tool to do this job. And this is something we are trying to communicate to our students to are not part of the curricula. Tools are to support what you are going to apply and they are changing from semester to semester. They are not included in our course description because this actually we cannot do. We have course in data mining, but the course in data mining doesn't say which tool to use. This is what is relevant today because a few years ago was one tool, today everyone is on R, we just move quickly the tool, uh, the, the tool, but tool is not part, let's say, of this mandatory description of the course we submit to the accreditation agency. And because of the short available time and we still have one presentation, I have several examples here for several courses about how this uh, learning demonstration, which is the culmination of any course look, uh, I can share after the presentation we have in different topic from different program, uh, from the data uh, technology program, from the information technology program, business intelligence. What is interesting, I'm just trying to focus in, the most interesting is we are adding up and reshaping the tra traditional way to teach with a practical skill-based evaluation of the student knowledge, asking him and, be, and students should be able to do practical project, applying everything he studied before. And also I have example about um, um, emergency management student because at the end of the day, they are not going to be information technology savvy, but they have to prepare a disaster uh, plan and they have to deal with big data, they, uh, with all the big data databases, the data about hazard and all this uh, stuff they have to put um, in access and select tools. Even though they are not technically safe, they, uh, savvy, they have to select the tool to deal with this and get, and this is just part of all the journey they get to the final product, they have to deliver a real plan. So right now, the stage of this, um, let's say, um, of this uh, focus to, to deliver the, our graduate program is in piloting some of the learning demonstration. That means not all of them. Uh, we did this in spring and in summer, and we are right now collecting feedback from students with questions like, which are uh, listed here below, below. Uh, so students, since we are uh, doing this piloting, not in the first courses. First courses are still in the traditional way we've been teaching. We are piloting the new approach to the uh, higher level courses so students can compare the previous approach with the new one and then we are asking them, by now we are using this feedback just to reshape our new approach in our new courses. And the, re the results are quite positive. Most of the students like, just we have a lot of challenging because uh, since students are, let's say, they are given in the table, you can select the two, we have a challenge in the classroom that the instructor and the TA have to deal with different two, but they are many different questions. Um, uh, many different challenges in this approach. We are just piloting and trying to get better. And uh, the next step is uh, we are identifying common, common pieces which can be used in different program. Thank you so much and question. Yeah. 
Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, they feel more prepared, even though the beginning is very hard to get them in board because it's not the traditional way. They start complaining. Oh no, but we didn't did this in previous courses, and we try just trying to communicate this new idea. You spend the first week of the class, but after you overcome, and when they because they get get more engaged in this type of star. It's not just the this because uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with online uh, delivering content. Online delivering content. If you don't get students engaged in discussion, in team, in exchanges, they uh, they just don't feel they are in the university. And we have in this direction experience of 20 years. Just we are evolving now not just with online, but with something which is going to more engaging to the, to the student in our university and more useful to the society, to the industry, and they will be rewarded with better job. That is the main goal we are following. If there are not more questions, we are going to the next.